Hello students. Um, this is the webinar uh, to learn how to place items on hold um, at the Omaha Public Library. Um, you've been working uh, with the catalog a little bit, um, but this is where we're actually going to log on to the website and uh, place items on hold. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to our website. It's Omaha library.org and um, as you can see uh, you guys have been working on this the online catalog but right above it um, is where you're going to log on to your biblio commons which is um, where you'll place items on hold and uh, we'll talk about that after we log on. So uh, just to have a little background, this is the website. Um, we have events posted, uh, social media, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, our locations and hours. There's 12 library locations around and there's also um, a list of our new books at the bottom here. We also have new DVDs, uh, new teen books, um, anything that's been published within the last six months um, will be on that. And you can also place those items on hold. Uh, we also have uh, staff lists that we come up with. Um, a lot of our libraries have uh, incubators right now with eggs. So our uh, children's librarians came up with um, a list of about books about hatching and eggs and uh, birds in general. Uh, we also have uh, staff picks of what employees are reading. Um, so that's interesting to see uh, just the different uh, tastes out there. And we also have a seed library where you can place seeds on hold and check them out. So um, we've decided to make lists about gardening and uh, uh, planting as well. So uh, we'll start off with uh, logging on to Biblio Commons. Um, so what you'll do is there's this little login slash my OPL and you're going to click on that and then you're going to hit this little green bar that says login slash register. Um, when you guys got your library cards uh, you should have made a four digit pin um, as well as there should be a barcode on the back of your card. Um, you'll use that to log in to start off with and also your four digit pin. Once you do that, um, it's going to prompt you to create a username. Um, I use the username more than the barcode just because I typically don't have my card with me when I'm logging on. So it makes sense to uh, have a username as well. So I'm gonna type in my username as well as my four digit pin and I'm gonna hit log on. And it should take you to what they call the library dashboard. And sometimes it takes a little bit to log on, but it'll get there. Okay, so as you can see, um, I have a for later shelf, which are books that I am interested in reading, um, but don't want to place on hold, but I want to remember them. Uh, so I put them on my for later shelf. Uh, what I want you guys to focus on today mostly is um, the on hold section of the dashboard. So if we click on that, um, it, you can have up to 40 items on hold. Uh, right now I have 38. And as you can see, some of my items are ready to be picked up um, at their location. You can choose your location. Um, I typically have either the branch that I work at or um, the branch that's closest to me. Um, so right now I have two DVDs that are ready to be picked up and one um, that's red and it says in transit. 
so Omaha Public Library does delivery twice a day. And um, since we are a floating collection, um, if something is checked in, it'll trigger a hold, which will then uh, go into delivery and make it to whatever uh, library you wish to pick it up at. Um, so that makes it really convenient uh, for our patrons and uh, for our employees as well. So um, as you can see, I have some items that um, are on order. Um, that means that we don't have them quite yet, but I knew that I wanted them, so I put them on hold. Um, and so that's why that says that it's not ready, and it's just because we don't uh, have it quite yet. There's also items that are not ready um, because there's 30 copies and all 30 copies are checked out. Um, but I'm number 11 on the list. So once that 11th DVD comes back, it'll, um, I'll work my way up the list um, for Bohemian Rhapsody, for an example. Also a great thing about holds too is uh, you can pause holds. So what that does is it um, keeps you still on the list, um, still at the placement on the list that you pause the hold at. Um, but say you're just, you have too many things checked out or uh, you wanna kind of do it one thing at a time, which is totally fine you can always pause um, your items and it'll still keep you on the list, um, but it won't come to you unless you want it uh, on hold. So um, as you can see, I have a brain on fire up paused and it expires on July 10th of this year. Um, holds expire a year from when they were placed, if you notice that. Um, so these are the items that I have on hold. And um, I'll show you also items that I have checked out. Uh, when you click on the checkout section, um, so these, I have 18 items checked out right now. And um, it shows you when items are due, um, how many times they've been renewed. You can renew items up to four times. Um, you will notice down here a ways on this book, uh, Queen of Hearts, it says that one person is waiting. Uh, so that means that somebody has placed a hold on this book and um, that means that I cannot renew it. So I have until March 28th to read this book. But my other items um, that I that I don't have holds on have automatically renewed. Um, they will automatically renew up to four times. So um, a lot of my items here down the list, um, I'm going to have to return. Uh, but if as long as they don't have holds on them, I can recheck them out. Um, it's just a safety thing for us to know that our items are okay. And um, typically you can have an item for up to three weeks. So times that by four, that's a lot of times for an item to be out and we just wanna make sure that um, the item is still in good shape and is still handy. So uh, for your assignment, what I want you to do is I want you to place um, at least one item. Um, I would like it if you would practice and maybe put two or three items on hold um, through the library dashboard and the catalog. Um, so I'm going to show you an example of uh, how to do that right now. So I'm logged in uh, to my Biblio Commons. You'll see uh, your little, your username up here top, at the top of the screen, and that shows you that uh, you're logged in. So I would like to find a book about monkeys. So I'm going to type in monkeys in my online catalog search. I'm using keyword um, and I would like to find a book so I'm going to narrow it down by clicking uh, checking this box next to book and I'd also like it to be 
um, the content to be nonfiction because uh, I want to learn more about uh, monkeys in general. So I'm going to scroll through and I'm thinking I want more of a children's book. Um, so I'm going to scroll through and look and it looks like I want to put this wildlife of monkeys on hold. So you can see that it says that it's available. And so we're going to view details, just because. And it looks like there's four copies, and they're at each, um, they're at these locations. And none of these locations are the, are the library that I prefer. So I'm going to place uh, this item on hold to be picked up. So I'm going to hit this X button. And as you can see, there's a for later. That is the for later shelf um, option that I showed you earlier. Um, but I want to place this on hold right now. So I'm going to click on this green square that says place a hold. And then I'm going to choose my pickup location. Um, we have 12 branches. So whatever's closest and convenient to you is the one that you would pick. I work at the Florence branch, so that one's the most convenient. Um, you can also enable single click holds, which means that it'll always remember that I want to pick it up at Florence. Um, but I don't necessarily want that, so I'm not going to click there. And then I'm going to say confirm hold on this blue button. And then a little green check mark should say hold requested on wildlife of monkeys. And um, the green box should be grayed out. Um, and just to make sure that the item was placed on hold, I'm going to go back up to the top of the screen and I'm going to click on uh, the little arrow next to my username. And I'm going to click my library dashboard. And then as we did before, I'm going to go to my on hold. And I'm going to scroll through. And as you can see, the wildlife of monkeys is on hold for me. I can pause it if I want, um, but I'm not going to. I can also put it on my for later shelf at this point. Um, it's saying that it's not ready just because um, it takes a little bit for the uh, Biblio Commons to process what you've put on hold, but I'm sure if I logged off now and checked in like an hour or so, it would have a number next to it saying I'm number one of four copies um, or number two of two copies or whatever, wherever I am on the list. Um, so that's putting something on hold. Um, just, just for, you know, safety's sake, I'm going <clears> to <throat> uh, go through that again. Uh, with another item. Um, let's search for um, books about lizards. So we'll put lizards in the keyword search. Um, I want a book that is nonfiction about lizards. Um, I like this one, fun facts about lizards. So I'm going to see its availability. It's at Millard, Saddlebrook, Swanson. Um, so none of the locations that I want at Florence. So I'm going to click on the green box and I'm going to say place a hold. And I want to pick it up at Florence. So I'm going to select Florence branch and I'm going to confirm the hold. And the little green check tells me that it's been confirmed. So I'm going to then go back up to my username. I'm going to click on the arrow. I'm going to go to my library dashboard. I'm going to go to my on hold shelf. And I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to see fun facts about lizards. And it's there and it's on hold for me. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to place at least one item on hold um, 
Typically, I would like it if you would do two or three. Uh, find things that you're interested in. Um, practice. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can always email me. Um, as well as uh, right on the discussion board. Thank you.